What's up everyone, I'm Steven here with Tiny House Listings and in this video I'm very excited to announce an all new model that we just released and it's called the Overlook. And as you can see, there's an obvious reason why we call it that. There's a loft above that cantilevers out over the frame of the house, and that is where you can overlook. In this video, we're going to give you a quick overview of all the features. And uh, so this is what I guess you could call the official tour of the overlook. All right, so on the back side of the house is kind of like the business end, I guess you could say. Um, as you can see, there is a four foot cantilever. And up there, you'll see when we get inside, you can put a bed up there. So it's like a sleeping loft. And uh, one really cool feature is it has a huge window that spans a big portion of the back of the house. It's actually two feet tall, six feet wide, tempered glass. We mounted a light under there, so you can control it with different, you know, different colors and things like that. And one idea we had was, and it's totally up to you, if you buy it from each corner, you could hang like a hanging hammock or something down below for partying or, you know, hanging out and relaxing. But we really, really like this because when you're inside and looking out, you have a pretty much unobstructed view of the entire back side of the house. And on the front side, we have an accent wall that kind of bumps out over to the loft area. And that's German siding that we use high performance polyurethane for exterior use. So it just makes it look a little bit better. gives it a really nice pop. And we think the black on the German siding looks really nice. And when we get to the back side, you'll see this house actually has multiple roof lines. So from the back, when you're looking at it, it makes it look really interesting. So now we're on the back side of the house. As you can see before, the house has multiple roof lines. So over the bathroom area and part of the kitchen, um, it's a little bit lower. And then when you're in the living space, it's much higher. And it uh, just looks a little bit cooler. The exterior is our traditional board and batten siding that we use LP sheets. Really, really good stuff. Uh, so I just want to highlight that for you. And like all of the homes that we've been building recently, this has upgraded black windows. And again, we just think that it looks a little bit more modern. And also we upgraded the roofing to black metal, really high quality stuff. So we just thought that looked cool. Bring it into 2024. All right, so we are in the living area of the tiny house and we have this stage a certain way, but you can do it any way you want if you happen to be the purchaser of this one or a future one. Some sitting areas here, we have a little, we just staged it with a ladder up there. We can build the ladder up to the loft however you want. Uh, so as you can see, when you're sleeping in the loft, you have huge views out the uh, window. Then also this large window right here allows you to see pretty much all the way out. So if you had some sort of landscape in the background, you would definitely want to point the tiny house towards it to look. For example, we had a lake or a field or whatnot. It'd be really nice. We have two sitting areas here, two chairs. You could put a couch here. You could put a desk here if you wanted. You could put a couch here, a seating area. Like this is a wide open floor plan. So you can basically do it however you want and there's lots of configurations you could do. All right, so now we're in the kitchen area as you can see. We have a full size apartment fridge and a huge pantry that goes almost all the way up to the ceiling. You can put all of your food in there, all of your plates easily, and you also have more storage beneath. And when we get back here, you'll see there was actually more storage even behind this. Uh, so it's a galley kitchen. There's a kitchen on this side, kitchen area, and that side. On this side, you can do, you can wash your dishes, plenty of room for meal prep. Same thing on the side, three burner cooktop induction. There's some area from meal prep over here, but I just want to raise your attention to the ceiling right here. You can see this is what I was talking about earlier. There's multiple roof lines. And on the front part, we have raw cabinet grade plywood up there. And then this right here, we have uh, shiplap. And we just think that looks really good. It looks really interesting. When you're in the living area, the middle is almost nine feet tall. So it's a very, very tall ceiling. As I was mentioning before, we have storage all the way across the top here. Plenty of storage for whatever it is you want to put here. Below, we have this plumbed up for a washer and dryer. We didn't install the washer and dryer because we're going to let you pick whichever model you want. So you can uh, wash your clothes, dry your clothes all right here. Plenty of milk, room for meal prep, prep. We have two GFI outlets on this side and one over on this side, uh, which makes it really nice for air fryers, uh, toaster ovens, whatever it is you want to use for, from an electrical perspective. All right, so now we're in the bathroom. Good size bathroom for this tiny house, actually. But we are using our standard, the stuff that we love to use is PVC tile. Very waterproof, very long lasting. That's why we use it. We have a full size flush toilet and this is actually more of a compact toilet than we've used in the past. We just think it looks really cool. Honestly, that's the reason we use it. We have a wall mounted vanity here. Love this look, storage beneath. And there's actually built in storage behind the shower all the way up. So you can put your trash can over here, whatever it is you wanna do. Has a, a humidistat, vented, so no problem as far as from a moisture perspective. Yeah, so that's it for the bathroom. All right, so this is the overlook. We hope you enjoyed the tour. We're really proud of this model. It took a lot of time, a lot of energy to get it to this layout and the, to the quality that we thought was good to actually unveil to you guys. Uh, this tiny house happens to be for sale still uh, at the time of recording of this video, so click the link in the description below. As you can see, this is an awesome layout, lots of light. We love this look right here, so you can see out unobstructed all the way out. And uh, we hope you like it too. If there's anything you like, let us know in the comments. Anything you think could change, let us know in the comments as well. So anyways, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.